طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد في الدرس العاشر من المنحة درسنا اليوم هو الإضافة الإضافة أسماء تتصل ببعضها لتفيد علاقة ما بينها يعني nouns that are combined and attached together in phrases or constructs to denote a relationship between the different elements in it. And they're made of mudaf, which is the first element of it, and mudafun ilay. Look at the examples that we have. Kitabul Arabiyati. So in this case, kitabu is mudafun, wa al Arabiyati mudaf ilay. The second part. This idafa is used for what's called taqsis al meaning specification. In other words, a book of what? A book of Arabic specifically. Look at the second example. Kitabul Ustadati. Once again, we have a mudaf, the same, and al Ustadati is al mudaf ilayhi here. And here in this case, the relationship between kitab and al Ustada is one of Milkiya of ownership to mean something belongs to something X of Y. Now, al idafa can be al mudaf ilay is nakira doesn't take the alif and lam wa yahmilu arab al idafa it carries the key sending and the voweling that determines the role of it the entire idafa in the sentence. Al mudaf ilay can be definite or indefinite, ma'rifatun aw nakiratun, majrurun. Then it takes a kasra at the end. It is in this way of compromising certain parts of these nouns that we're able actually to combine them together in a construction that is called idaf. Yumkinu an tatakawana al idafatu min akthara min ismaini. Al idafa can have not only one mudaf and mudaf ilay, but it can be a string that is much longer. For example, Maktabu Ustadati Lughati, the office of the professor of the language. Bintu Ammi Sadiqin, the daughter of an uncle of a friend, yani a cousin from the paternal side. Anwa'u al the types of idaf. Al idafa can be ma'nawiya, meaning semantic or lexical. And lafdiyya, meaning it has to do only with form and with words, meaning غير حقيقيتن, we call it the unreal idafa, because it is somewhat different from the idafa construction that we talked about. So المعنوية, which is in other words the true idafa, is ismun مع ismin. So you put a noun followed by a noun, and we said it could be a string of three nouns, four nouns. الغير حقيقية, is made of a, a sifa, an adjective, followed by ism. Now, look at examples of both. The first one is bintu ammati, literally, the daughter of my paternal aunt, meaning my cousin. But what we have here are two nouns, bint and amma, and it's made definite by the ya that we have at the end. Walidu mahmudin. The father of Mahmoud. Now, in this case, you have two nouns that are stringed together. In this case, look at the examples that we have. Tawilatul Qamati. Long of stature. Yani, tall, in other words. Qasirul Qamati. If you're talking about Walidu Mahmoodin, Qasirul Qamati. The father of Mahmoud is short of stature. Bintu Ammati. طويلة القامة My cousin is tall شكرا جزيلا على انتباهكم واهتمامكم وأراكم إن شاء الله في الدرس القادم